How's it going guys? So in the last video we set up this resolver that runs whenever a user tries to create an account. At the moment all we're doing is validating the input and just returning a mock response. However, we want to actually create an email and send them an email so they can actually verify their account on our service. Now to do so we're going to use the node mailer library. And in this video, we're just going to use a test service, but this same concepts would work if you're using a paid for service, which would actually be sending it to their real email. So to get started, we need to install NodeMailer and also the types because we're using TypeScript and make sure um, it's a dev dependency. So now that we have that to keep this file clean and to keep our logic separate, I'm going to create a module dedicated to just our mail things. And in here, I'm going to create a transport.ts. And basically how NodeMailer works is that you need to have a um, instance of a transport. And this is basically what sends the email to um, whatever email you want to send it to, basically. So here we want to have um, an instance of this transport and we only want to make the instance one time We don't want to create a new instance for every email because that would just slow down our server and will take up too much memory For so for now um, We're gonna set this type to undefined or null and Then this undefined we're gonna switch it out when we actually are able to get the type because I don't have it memorized So um, we'll actually get it shortly. Don't worry about that so here I'm just going to create a function. I'm going to export it too. So export const and let's call it get transport and it has to be asynchronous. So here we'll do if transport, we just return the current transport like that. And I have to spell that correctly. So if there's no transport, we hit this code and we're actually going to instantiate one. So just be aware on this line under us, we're going to be using a uh, development code. So if you want to push to production, you would uh, use a real um, real provider slash service for your emails. So here we're going to do const user and pass is equal to and then we need to in um, we need to import node mailer. And what we're going to do now is basically create a test account to send our emails. So NodeMailer has this really cool in-house uh, testing email service that it lets you send test emails to uh, fake emails, basically. And it's mainly used for development. So here we'll do NodeMailer dot create test account. And if you want to do in production, you would obviously you would not do this and you would maybe um, have some environment variables and some secret uh, credentials that you would import into this file at this moment to get the username and password and then we would do um, const host and then here it would also be an environment variable but since we're in development we can just for now we can do smtp dot ethereal dot mail and this actually can just be up here so yeah just to give you an idea of uh, what is for testing and what is for production. But everything else here that doesn't have this comment would work exactly the same. So here you would do transport is equal to node mailer dot create transport. And then this takes in an object in here and we pass in our host and we already wrote it up here. We pass in the port, which I believe is 587 like that. And we also need to pass in secure set to false because we're in production. So we can do here process.env.node environment is equal to production. Like this, like so. And then here auth, you would pass in your user and pass. And then here return your transport. And then here we can get the type. So the type that we need would be, mm, where is it? Let me see, it's probably here. Okay, yeah, transporter sent message info. That's the type. 
then uh, just need to import that and then this like that okay and this is weird oh, okay this is actually it returns a promise i didn't notice you just do await so yeah my bad about that okay so now we can have access to this transport so we can go here in our resolver and actually do const transport is equal to await get transport so now we can do transport dot send mail simple as that and it has an object and everything here is included for us so the from we're just going to do a uh, test app and test dash no reply at app.com this is just an example just so you have an idea then we can do two and then up here we have credentials dot email so the email that's um, our users emails who we're sending it to then we do subject here we can put some back ticks and we can write welcome to test app and here's some javascript credentials dot username and then here would actually be the html and for now we can just do an h1 that would be welcome or verify your account so here you can just write some HTML, which is pretty cool. And I'll put a new line here. I'll do a P tag, paragraph tag, just please click the link below to verify your account. Close that off. And a new line. And then here we would have an anchor tag. And here you can put um, the link. We'll put that in future videos. We're going to actually make this whole system. So stay tuned for that. We're going to make this all work actually. But here for now, we would just put, um, I'll put DougDougGo.com just to get the link to actually work. Uh, target can be underscore blank. And then here we can do register account and then close that off. Okay. So if you notice, this is a bit messy for our resolver. I like to keep my resolvers clean. So in the mail module, I'm going to create a verify account.ts. And here I'm just going to do export const generate verification email. And this uh, function would return basically what we put in here. So it's going to generate this instead of us having to write it all in this resolver. So it would be this type right here. And we can get rid of the uh, generics here. We don't need it in, in our case. And then it would take in as an argument, it would take in a username, which we know is a string and an email, which we know is also a string. And we would want to get those arguments and destructure them so we could use them and we'll return an object from this function and it'll be the same object that we just wrote here so we can go like this and just, instead of writing credentials dot you would just like that and then so here we can just do generate generate verification email and so here it's an object with username set to credentials dot username and email set to credentials dot email now we could actually make this a little bit better for the eyes and just do interface interface email input and this is a pretty bad name but it doesn't really matter and basically we just copy these two lines in here so now we can just get rid of this here completely and just credentials or creds which is implements the email input interface and then we do creds dot it should actually be called credentials so then 
in our resolver we can just pass in credentials in ES6 style so I'll tell you exactly what I mean by that so here we just do credentials and it just works so now the email is being sent but this returns a promise and so we do dot then and here we get some info and we have access to that information so this info is a type of any and to fix that we need to go over to our transport and we need to change this type here so this type is just sent message info it needs to be type of smtp transport dot sent send message info and actually you might be thinking like how did you even know about that well trial and error um i've actually done this before so i know that this type is needed but it's pretty hard and i wish they had this more documented but they don't and node doesn't even have their own types we're using community made types so that's really the problem here and that's basically why i'm making this video to just help you out so here we can console log we can do message id and then it's info dot message id and then here we would do url so this is going to be the url that lets us see our test email so here we would do and we actually have to import node mailer So node mailer dot get test message URL and it takes in info. So this dot then here is very important and I actually didn't mention that but I'm going to tell you now. If you don't do this, you're going to run into problems and let me tell you why. We're sending this email. Sending the email takes some time over the network. You don't want to have your user waiting for the email to send. You want to give them a response and while they're going to check their email, the email should have sent by then. So if you don't do dot then, if you just do await, your function will not finish until the email has sent. Let's say you have a slow network and your email takes like 30 seconds to send. That's gonna be a very bad user experience. So you want to send back return here. Once we're done returning, then all of this will run after the email has sent and it will display it in the console for us here. So I just want to stress that, that you really do not want to wait your resolver to actually have the email send. You want to have that running in the background. So we're pretty much done here and we can actually start testing this out. So I'm actually going to just run this up. And so I'm just going to open my browser and head over to GraphQL Playground or Apollo Playground. So here we can test out our resolver. So if you recall from last video, we already have the mutation and everything written. All we got to do is basically uh, click create account. So keep an eye over here in the console and I'm going to click this. See, we got our response and oh, there's an error. So something went wrong. It seems like maybe I had typed this wrong. Oh, I put dot mail. It's actually dot email. Okay. So it's actually dot email, not dot mail. So let's just try this again. So do let's do that again. I'm gonna click a create account. Boom, we got a response. Look down here. Then the email was sent. So we got a response right away telling our user, thanks for registering, go to your email. 10 seconds after or five seconds later, the email actually went through and now we have a URL that we can click to check the actual email using the test service. So here we see our username um, is Alice High in our email. Let me make this bigger for you. It says, welcome to test app Alice High from this to this. And yeah, this is pretty cool. So verify your account. Please click the link below. And when you, they click this, it opens, um, redirects them to the website. For now, it's just DuckDuckGo and we're going to we're going to extend upon this. So in the next video, we're going to build upon this foundation that we've made today and we're just going to actually create the entire system of actually having accounts created and actually verifying them through email so it's going to be really cool and it's probably one of my favorite parts of this series so stay tuned for that i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you for watching